I was just like anybody else. I was going to work every day, taking care of my home. And so when they tell you you have heart failure and your diagnosis is, in my, in my case, was five years, you know, to live, it was a real stunner. I was having difficulty breathing. I heard gurgling in my throat whenever I laid down. And they realized that there was a lot of fluid built up around my heart and that was causing the gurgling sensation. And they had to pump it out in order to, to get my heart regulated. I have been in and out of the hospital quite a bit. And when you go, it's frightening because I don't know what's going to come out of it. I don't know what the next step will be. One of the doctors in the practice told me about cardio MIMS. She told me, we're ready, we've got it up and going. And Dr. Prasad would very much like for you to have this just because he believes it would help you. The cardio MIMS device is the only FDA approved pulmonary artery sensor to reduce heart failure admissions. The device actually has two components. The pulmonary artery sensor, which is a small device with a small, you know, three millimeter piece of plastic with some wire loops that's inserted into the pulmonary artery. And, and this basically generates uh, a frequency that can be detected. And that the, the detector is, is the home unit, which the patient has. And it looks like basically like a, a queen size pillow. And the patient lays on the pillow, maybe for about a minute to two every morning. The measurement is taken. That measurement is then transmitted to the heart failure team database at our practice. And we can see readings on a daily basis. And based on those readings, we can engage the patient, we can engage the cardiologist, but we basically tie the team together and say, hey, we see this happening based on our remote readings. What's the best strategy? Because if we don't do anything, I guarantee you within two to three weeks, she's gonna uh, decompensate enough to, to make it to your emergency room. It's given me a level of security because they, whenever they notice an uptick in the pressures of my heart or the fluid building up, I always get a call from someone at, at Dr. Prasad's office. They can take the precautions that need to be made to prevent a hospitalization from taking place. And I haven't had to go to the hospital since it's been put in. As patients get readmitted more and more for heart failure, their prognosis worsens and worsens. And the hope is that if we can prevent hospital admissions, mostly by intervening and intercepting the cycle of congestion, symptoms, hospitalizations, recovery, congestion, symptoms, we can address acute illness more uh, urgently and then hopefully translate into better uh, outcomes as far as mortality, and it's already translated as be uh, into better quality of life. As I think about Mary Washington, I don't like going to the hospital. I don't know of anybody who does, but whenever I've had to go, once I get there, I know I'm in good hands. Mary Washington, as far as I'm concerned, I, they're tops. With heart failure, you're already afraid because you don't know. You just don't know what's gonna happen. But when you have people that, with the knowledge and the care to take care of you, it means more than I could ever say.